So since fitting the um, fuel injection system with the uh, Emerald K6 ECU um, there's been a problem in that the tacos never worked and I've had quite a few people uh, contact me via the thread um, on the Jag Lovers forum asking me if I've got a resolution of the problem yet. Now like everybody else I've tried quite a few things. If you look closely at the original Smith's taco it says RVI. That means that it works on the pulse generated from an internal coil inside the actual taco. So this is the rear wiring on the um, Smith's taco for the E-Type. I've cut the wires but should be two white wires, one green wire and if you look closely you've got a black and a red sleeve. The wire with the black sleeve is the power supply to the ignition coil. So that's the one that would normally pick up the pulse current that would actually fire the coil inside the taco. So I found this useful article which explains how it works. So the Smith's RVA taco is either an internal or external pickup coil. The early ones have got a little wire on the outside, the white wire on the outside is coiled twice. Um, the feed ignition coil is often the white wire which is looped around on the back of the coil. When the point's closed, literally passes through the coil to the ground and as literally passes through the loop on the taco, a current is used to the tachometer pickup coil. The current is filtered and the processed and used to drive the moving coil movements. So let's take this taco apart now so we can show the internals. So basically the way to take them apart is get a nice surface, lots of pressure on the top and then twist them until the pins line up on the holes. Okay so you can see they're now lined up there so I'll now take it apart. Okay, so this is the taco. Now you've got so you've got the two screws on the outside to undo. That's the ones with the rubber washers on, and then the insides will detach from the outer casing. Okay, screws are undone. Off the casing. Let's take these screws finally out. One, two. And now just feed the wire through the hole here as we lift the casing off and there you go that's the inside of the taco and if we turn it round find it and there it is oops okay so there's the coil with the wires looped around it so that's what's baking the pulse big coil picks it up that's what generates the current and that's what deflects the taco the um, yellow button there is to adjust the taco. So if you actually do set this up, then you may need just to set it before you put it all back together again. Right, so back on the car, here's the wire and harness, and the yellow wire is labeled taco. So that's the one I've now disconnected. And that wire used to go into the white wire, which I've now joined to a new white wire. And this wire is gonna go directly to the socket on the coil pack. Right so this is the socket that fits on the coil pack and on this case it's the red wire that need to be disconnected. Right so the engine's now started. I've wired the white wire from the taco, that's the white wire which has got the black um, collar on it, directly into the plus 12 volt ignition side into the coil pack. If I earth me taco you'll see it's now working perfectly and that's just over 11,000 revs and the software is saying I'm just doing just over 11,000 revs let's take that up to 15 15 and the tacos reading just under 15 so I'll turn the adjuster at the back which is that yellow knob there just to make it slightly more sensitive okay so there's the wire now going to the coil pack so the original red wire in the harness has just been disconnected and just at the end just tied off really so it's all done all the harness tied it up again so everything back to the way it was with taco working so a good solution um, 
took about 20 minutes half an hour thanks for watching